Welcome to another episode of the Soul Aligned Success Series. And today I'm going to talk to you about prostituting your prices. Yes, I said it, literally selling yourself short. So we're just gonna dive in here and I'm just gonna call out what I see going on in the industry among spiritual healers, light workers, and teachers specifically. There seems to be what I refer to as starving healer syndrome. And this is where you severely undervalue your worth, your time, and the transformation that you bring to the table. And um, what I see happening a lot is a lot of overgiving, a lot of prostituting your time, prostituting your energy, um, and a lot of overgiving and self-sacrificing as a result of not truly owning your value, owning your worth, owning your transformation, and owning the value that you bring to the table. So I want to talk to the, talk to this because as a spiritual teacher and healer, you, you want to give, you want to help so many people, but I want to bring this to your attention. There is a difference from giving and leading with generosity. And here's how you can tell the difference. Generosity, when you lead with generosity, you are coming from an abundant place. You're coming from a full cup. You're coming from a place of overflowing and you're able to give to people without depleting your own energy. If you're giving and you're overgiving and you're self-sacrificing and you are not honoring with healthy standards, self-honoring standards, your time, your energy, and you're overgiving because you need, I'm gonna use the word need, because you need more clients and it's coming from a desperate place. It's coming from a neediness energy. This is coming from the wounded feminine energy um, and that is not standing in her power, not owning her worth, not owning the value that she brings to the table. And as a result, she, it feels very needy. It feels, uh, this is the opposite frequency and vibration that you want to give out to the universe when trying to build your spiritual business, right? So that's how you can tell the difference. If you're just over giving or giving from a place of lack, or if you're actually leading with generosity, because there is quite a difference between those two things. They are totally different energetic frequencies. One is going to call in the abundance and the and the soulmate clients that really need the gift and the message and the wisdom and the value and the transformation that you offer. And the other is going to keep you stuck in burnout and hustle and attracting people that are never going to pay you for your services because you're putting out that neediness energy. And that neediness energy is what is causing you to prostitute your prices, prostitute your time and prostitute your energy and overgive and self-sacrifice. And then what happens is a self-perpetuating cycle that that eventually leads to burnout and overwhelm. And so, you know, what I wanted to leave you with as a takeaway is at the end of the day, your business has to leave you feeling abundant. It has to leave you feeling supported. You have to feel abundant, you have to feel supported in order to show up and hold space, not only for your own transformation, because you're going through your own ascension journey, but you need to be able to show up and hold space for everybody else that you're helping grow and transform as well. So this is speaking directly to you if you are a spiritual teacher, a healer, a messenger, a coach, and you are nickel and diming yourself to death, and you are you know, not owning your value, not owning your worth, not owning the transformation that you bring to the table, coming from a very needy energy and therefore over giving and undercharging as a result of the undervaluing of your worth and time and energy, then this message is for you that you are not serving anyone. You're not serving yourself. You're not serving the people that desperately need your your gift and your transformation and you're not serving your mission right you're not in alignment with any of them right and not only this i want you to take this into consideration not only are you not in alignment with the souls that are 
would otherwise be ready to work with you and would gravitate towards you if you were showing up in your owning your value and owning your worth they would gravitate towards you and they would they would be attracted to your energy right not only are you not serving them but you're also not serving the clients that you do have that are paying you to show up as your most abundant self as your most supported self holding the most space holding the sacred space for healing for transformation for growth right and so all around it's misalignment 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 with your mission with with the people that you could be serving and with the people that you are serving and misalignment with yourself your own self-care your own self-nurturing your own healthy you know boundaries and your own lifestyle goals so the takeaway I want to leave you with is you have to be able to reverse engineer your desired lifestyle goals that leave you feeling abundant and supported because you deserve to be abundantly supported while doing your mission work. There is nothing glamorous or more honorable if you are, quote unquote, what I call the starving healer. You are just choosing to struggle because you are still buying into the bullshit beliefs that you're transformation that you offer and your gift is not worthy of of compensation and at the end of the day you don't believe in your dreams and the value and the gift that you bring to the table enough to show up fully in your in your energy in your confidence in your power and charge what it is that you feel supported and abundant and that can be different price points for different products, for different people, for different services, right? Because at the end of the day, you're charging on value and transformation. You're not charging on time, trading dollars for hours and then nickel and diming yourself at, you know, with that leads to burnout and overwhelm. And best case scenario is you're helping people, but you're not helping as many people as you could. And you are burned out on the back end, meaning the more people that you serve, the the less time, the less energy and everything you have. So in addition to that, you know, a lot of coaches figure out very, very fast. If you, some figure this out very early on in their journey, which is even better, which is to build a foundation that is scalable, that respects your time, that respects your energy, that respects your lifestyle goals, that respects the sacred space that you're holding for yourself and your own transformation and ascension. So you can hold that sacred space for everyone else that you're here to serve. And so I wanted to leave you with that, that the number one thing you can do when you figure out how to price your programs and your services is don't base it on time, Build something that's scalable, something that can support you and your lifestyle goals. And reverse engineer your lifestyle goals and get realistic with what it is that you actually um, want to create in the world and what a, what you feel would be a fair charge for that in, an, in exchange for your energy, your value, your transformation, and showing up and holding that space for other people to get the transformation that you're offering. So I see a lot of, especially like energy healers fall into this category a lot where they end up depleting themselves. And as an energy healer, you have to be able to hold that sacred space. You need that time to rejuvenate. You need that time to be, um, to be your best self and to come from an abundant supported place you're not going to be able to show up and serve as your highest most powerful most effective self for others if you are not showing up as your most highest powerful most effective um self for yourself right so everything will revert back to your own ascension journey and when you're really allowing your own ascension journey to lead the way your spiritual business will be a reflection of that so I wanted to leave you with that today. Um, if this interests you, please jump on my Soul Align Success Masterclass. I think you're going to love the content there where I share my exact method on how to grow your Soul Align business in record time and turn your side hustle into a thriving business and or restructure and re 
you know, restructure the business you already have in place so it is in greater alignment, not only with your mission, but also your lifestyle goals. So wherever you're watching this video, you can find the URL below the video or in my um, Instagram bio link. It's the Soul Align Success Masterclass, and I would love to see you there. Namaste.